This then is the West Ham lineup. Mervyn Day in goal, he passed uh, a late fitness test. Bonds, Lampard, Pike, uh, Tommy Taylor, McGiven, Radford, Robson, Devonshire, Brooking and Alan Taylor with uh, Billy Jennings the substitute and still to get on the score sheet for West Ham since joining them for Arsenal John Radford though I must say his work in the air has already proved more than useful to them in the past few weeks Derby are in happier shape this week this is their side Bolton Langham Webster Daly McFarland and Todd Powell Gemmell Hector Charlie George back after an absence of six games Leighton James back after an absence of two games and Newton is their substitute so John Radford's old Arsenal colleague is in the enemy camp here he is Charlie George uh, looking for the goals that will make Derby County safe Mervyn Day with a very sharp haircut Devonshire's header Radford shielding it nicely for Brooking on again for Devonshire, McFarlane's after him, Devonshire's got the cross in, and it's a goal there by Pike. Inside the first two minutes, West Ham have struck the way they wanted to, and Jeff Pike, the man, a young man with a happy knack of scoring important goals, has done it again. Devonshire again, what a find he's been for West Ham, beating McFarlane to that uh, ball to the near post, to the uh, byline, overcame the cross, too high for Robson, but not for Pike. Pass Bolton, West Ham 1, Derby County 0. To Gemmell. McGiven again getting in quickly and playing the ball there. Brooking sending Taylor on his way. He's gone past McFarland again. There's a little chip. Oh, and it might come yet. Robson over the top. Brilliant play by West Ham. Ten minutes gone, West Ham leading 1-0. And Todd playing a long ball towards Charlie George. Oh, and a good save there by Day from uh, Leighton James. Tommy Taylor's header not getting a lot of distance. And James on it like a thunderbolt, right foot. And a good save down by the post by Mervyn Day. Free kick. Now oh, by Tommy Taylor on Charlie George. And the free kick quickly taken. Archie Gemmell right on it. Oh, and he missed a kick when he seemed to be right through. Well, that was a remarkable, he uh, quickly uh, taken free kick by Derby, and it very nearly caught West Ham out. Archie Gemmell going right through there, and it looked as though it was going to be a simple job putting it past Day, but he slipped and the chance went with it. Radford versus McFarland again, and Radford determined to shield it that time, and his little chip finding Trevor Brookie. No foul, and that's a good decision by the ref shoulder against shoulder and if you take that out of the game you might as well uh, forget about playing it surging forward once more Devonshire taking up the momentum of it fast demo now can he get the cross in Radford on the far side got it down there for Pike again just over good move been very muted in this first half Gemmell into the path of Todd Derby again have got a lot ball, and this time they've got a free kick. As Leighton James is brought down by Tommy Taylor. A free kick to Derby. 90 seconds from half time. And it could hardly be in a more critical position. Alan Taylor went to have a quick word with Mervyn Day about something there. Gary Daly, the dead eyed kicker from dead ball situations, Daly. And West Ham with plenty in that wall. Leighton James curling it, and it's into the back of the net. Well, it hit the stanchion, and it was hard for the crowd to understand it, but Leighton James has curled that ball into the West Ham net. Round the side of the wall. It hit the stanchion of the back, that's what fooled everybody. And that makes it 1-1. West Ham 1, Derby County 1, the boos are for the referee. But the man who scored it is Leighton James, back after a two-match layoff with an ankle injury. Here's Brooking. Back again for Devonshire. All played here for Pike. Hit that well! Oh, and he hit the post! How unlucky can you get? What a brilliant shot there by Jeff Pike. Played square for him beautifully. And hit it beautifully too. Wide of the diving Bolton but off the post Colin Murphy 
the left, the Derby County manager, who's really had a pressure-filled second half of the season. Brocking with the free kick. Curl a little bit behind the uh, strikers that time, but nonetheless struck well and saved well. Good shot there by Lampard, and uh, it looked for one moment as though it might creep in until Colin Bolden was down on it. Great shot all on the ground there by Lampard. And some fine work there by Colin Bolden. One of those massive kicks by Mervyn Day. Will it catch Derby out? Well, Radford's there, Brookings there. Oh, and another great save. Now, can Taylor turn it back? They are destined not to get one this afternoon, West Ham. But although Derby, to be honest, don't look like uh, capitulating and, in fact, look quite dangerous on their breaks, it's West Ham in the second half who've made those one or two chances that just haven't come their way, that haven't, uh, they haven't been able to finish off. Gemmell, Langan, Todd, playing with a lot of composure and a lot of style, Derby, and here's Gemmell. Oh, this could be dangerous now for West Ham. Gemmell putting it across, and he's into the goal! Put there by McGibbon, and that puts Derby into the lead. Well, what a tragedy there for Mick McGibbon. Archie Gemmell, well, he looks as though he's almost in tears, and I think that's probably how he feels. What a cruel twist of fate that was for Mick McGibbon, such a sturdy defender. And as Gemmell took that ball down to the byline, hit it back, difficult always for defenders. And Mick McGibbon, it came off him, I think probably through the legs of Mervyn Day, and into the back of the net. West Ham 1, Derby County 2. Down by Ron Webster, here's Devonshire again. Derby have pulled a lot back now. Bonds turning it in once more, Robson right in there. But Jennings is there, and Jennings is equal! 2-2 Well, that substitution certainly worked A goal with uh, just under five minutes left that West Ham desperately wanted The ball bobbling around there for quite a while until Billy Jennings found himself free and hit it really on the volley into the net Beyond Bolton, West Ham 2, Derby County 2. Todd had the power to get out of trouble there. Mackett, or rather uh, Langan. Had to go a long, long way and played a good ball in for Charlie George and a brilliant piece of defence there by Billy Bonds. Mervyn Day was applauding his skipper there because uh, Charlie George suddenly went into overdrive and took that pass from uh, Langan so well and just as he hit it, so too did Billy Bonds and it went behind. Well, is it going to be a last throw for Derby County? Macken, Powell hitting it in there, Roy McFarlane's right in there, could be, but it isn't. Mervyn Day with the kick for West Ham. That's the final whistle. It's a point apiece when uh, both of them really came and wanted to. And a final scoreline then at Upton Park with the police in very much in evidence there. West Ham 2, Derby County 2.